hey guys uh, welcome back uh, this video is uh, focused on graphql apis which are being provided by any point platform so let's check it out i'm going to search about graphql api um, and within Microsoft. so not able to find much stuff but uh, but nevertheless let's search with graph api maybe yeah i got it so this is this is about uh, the searching with graph api and it's it's basically uh, let you search the excel uh, assets for a string value you can put uh, any uh, search value like uh, I have to search for Salesforce under the category of connectors, template, extension, and it will give you uh, back some results. So there is a way to uh, configure it. As of now, um, officially, AnyPoint Studio doesn't have any connector for GraphQL. Uh, there are some custom connectors available, but uh, we will be discussing more from the API or, or API call perspective. Okay, so in order to um, check uh, the graph api it can be used without an api platform account in case only private uh, 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 private based organization assets will not be retrieved back only uh, publicly available by milsoft will be returned and to utilize this api for assess private content you should have a independent platform con uh, account along with you okay so uh, the first step is to log in into any platform and uh, using this curl using this particular post uh, request we can uh, figure out the token out of it and using that token we can pass out uh, this particular uh, this is this is like the graphql uh, you can say the graphql uh, endpoint so let me try to open it so it will not open up like that so give me a moment let me try to so this is the link for uh, graph uh, graph slash api slash v2 whereas uh, what is being provided to us over here is v1 so there is a catch over here uh, you need to search for api v2 graphql till this point you need to uh, uh, make a bookmark of this particular link because somehow it is being missed uh, within this documentation uh, I will be going more in details uh, on the uh, on the other side of it and it basically uh, creates a GraphQL query and you can have the group ID asset ID version <clears throat> and uh, you can take the value out of it like uh, created by ID username first name last name who is the creator and the all other possible things so what is the relationship and if you try to correlate it is being quite similar to uh, neo 4j query language as well so it's very similar to that and in case you want only search for a private exchange there is a way to do that you have to provide the organization id uh, within uh, within this uh, uh, square brackets and like that i have mentioned about the searching of a particular product right so instead of product you can put salesforce or uh, microsoft or Kafka or whatever connector you are you are looking for, so it will return back the results. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, there is one more link, uh, Exchange Graph API. So you can also have a quick look on this. Uh, it talks about how to get started with it, assess token, how we can retrieve and how we can pass it further. So I will be covering all these detail within our uh, use case as well latest version will pick up only the latest version of the any connector or the type which we are going to select okay so now what i'm going to do i'm uh, jumping on to my postman <coughs> and first of all uh, i will be going to uh, make a hit to this anypointmusop.com accounts slash login uh, using the parameters of username and password which you need to pass in xx in xwww form url encoded format 
so what it will do it will return back a access token and let's see so this is the access token which we have retrieved and i will uh, make a copy of it and after that as i mentioned it was graph api v2 graph ql this was the path and we have to put the authorization so in the authorization select this bearer token and put the new um, token over here So this time uh, mu3 mu4 composite then api ml api ml definition connector type so this time it uh, returned uh, some different result set so latest version will give only the latest version of the available salesforce related uh, connector extensions there are many other things as well you, which you can do this was for the all the offerings or the connector extension related to salesforce keyword available publicly by the any point platform but what if you are looking for any specific uh, within your uh, private uh, organization level so for that there is a way like to i would like to go back to graph ui so there is a way like organization ids So what I will do, I will copy paste this particular piece of code over here in the uh, and comma I will put so from where this organization has come up. So to identify that uh, you have to log into your any point platform. So let me locate this one and we will remove rest of the things and we will go to access management and we'll go for organization details i will click on it and this 215 ending with 87 this is the organization id if you click on the organization uh, under the master organization starting with 215 ending with 87 okay 215 at ending with 87 so this is it and if i click on send button For that, I have to remove the Salesforce as well because it seems like within my private organization, I don't have anything related to Salesforce. So let's see back again. So this time it returned back the credit card connector, the credit card extension, then ticketing connector, IPL connector, IPL extension, greeting connector, and greeting extension. So in order to uh, cross check that, what I will do, I will go back to the exchange. My application, no, not as my application. I will go to 
ESL that is my master level and I will put all types so this is for four REST APIs are there okay API specification I am just trying to look at the API specification first after that I will go for the next thing So now it is written with 